All right, everybody. So like we always do, you can answer in the chat box or you can unmute yourself and say your answer out loud. So we're talking about counting coins and making a dollar. There's me, that's my Bitmoji with all my money. Come on, she's so cute. We're just gonna do a reminder about the buttons on Zoom. Everybody remember how to mute and unmute yourself. Why doesn't everybody unmute real quick and say hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, Donna. Hi, good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi, guys. All right, and when it's not time to talk, you can just mute in case there's noise in the background of your house, okay? And then it doesn't really matter today if you're looking at gallery view or sneaker view because I think my PowerPoint should be really big. Does everybody see this picture pretty big on their screen? Thumbs up if this picture is pretty big. Um, so like if I go back to this other one, are you seeing this picture of Miss Santa and the coins bigger than everything else? Yes? Lorenzo is. If it looks really small to you, then you need to click the button that says speaker view to make sure that you can see it well enough, okay? And then if you need help finding the chat box, you can see this button here. It's like a air bubble, a talking bubble, and it should be at the bottom to get into the chat. Why doesn't everybody go to the chat and type their favorite color? So go ahead if you can find the chat and tell us what your favorite color is, then we remember then we know you all remember how to use the chat and we'll get to warm up a little bit. All right. I love seeing you guys. I love seeing your faces. I miss you guys. So tomorrow I'm going to go to the doctor and we're going to find out if I broke my ankle or not. And if I broke it, then I got to get a cast. But if I get a cast, I'll show you guys. Okay. So I'll tell you how it goes. All right, I see a lot of friends in the chat. Ooh, a lot of red. Mine's red too. Galaxy. <laughs> That's cool. Red, a lot of red, blue. Ooh, a black. Favorite is black, huh? Juliana was asking, are we gonna are we gonna have summer school in second grade? Juliana, we already sent letters home to parents for people that um are invited to come to summer school. Not everybody needs to go, but we're not sure yet if it's gonna be in the second grade class or if it's gonna be on the computer. So we'll tell you guys when we know. Ooh, a yellow favorite color, huh? Thanks guys for sharing. Okay, so our learning target today, Lorenis, could you read it to us, the English one? You can unmute yourself. I can count the total value of a group of coins. Awesome, thank you, Lorenis. And then who could read it in Spanish for us? Uh, Lorenzo, I heard you do awesome Spanish speaking. Your mom posted a video of you. Could you read it for us in Spanish? Would you do that for us? Yo puedo contar el valor total de un grupo de monedas. Ay, Lorenzo, suena muy bonito. Muchas gracias. It was beautiful. We're looking for the word, our action word. Go ahead to the chat. What do you think is the action word in the English learning target? ¿Y cuál es el verbo o la palabra de acción en la versión español? So I want the action word. Miss Alexandria, I know you can't see me today. My computer um, camera's not working, but I'm showing you my screen instead, okay? Count, people are saying count. Yep, so I'm boxing that. Counting, and in Spanish? Who knows it in Spanish? Tell me. Oh, hi, Dominic, you joined. Hi, Gabby, hi, Alex, hi, Gabby. Contar. Contar, si es contar. So that's what we're doing today. We're counting. What are we counting? What are we counting? Someone can unmute and tell me. The valor of coins. El valor, the value of coins. And I want to make sure everybody understands we're counting the value of coins. We're not just counting the coins, right? We're counting coins. But like, let me show you for an example. Right here, if I said, how many coins are there? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight coins. Hi, Michael. But I'm not asking you to count the coins. I want to know the 
total value of the coin. That's what our learning target is today, okay? So who can tell me what the brown coin is called, its name, and how much it's worth? What's its value? Um, Gabby, go ahead. If you know um, too, you can type it. I see Emily's typing it. Nice job. It cost one cent and it's called a penny. Woohoo! Yes, it is. All right, how about the next one? It's like a little bit bigger and it's silver. The name and how much it's worth. No, Dominic? It's Dominic? I like seeing Nate in the chat answering about it, Alex in the chat, Raul. You having trouble unmuting, Dom? Here. Oh, did you go to the chat? Go ahead, say it out loud for us, buddy. Five cents. Five cents, and what's it called? Do you know? He's right. It's five cents. Can anybody help us with the name of the silver one? Nickel. A nickel. I can see in the chat box. <laughs> helping, huh? You got nice friends. <laughs> okay, how about this? This one is smaller looking, also silver. And it actually says the name of it on the back of the coin. What's this one called and how much is it worth? Ms. Aponte, do you want to pick somebody else? I can't see everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Let's do John Arise. I keep going to like just keep going back in and out. That is a dime and it's worth 10 cents. Awesome. The last, so look, this is kind of weird. A nickel looks bigger than a dime. But which one is worth more? A nickel worth more or a dime worth more? Dime. A dime is worth more, even though it's smaller. It's a little tricky. Okay, and then the last coin. Ms. Aponte, would you choose us somebody? Um, I see some people in the chat. I love that. Um, JVM? Go ahead, buddy. Can you unmute? Hey, buddy. I don't know why I can't hear you. Let me see you. Let me see if I can find you. Okay, JV, what's that last coin called? A quarter. Yeah, it's a quarter. How much is it worth? 25 cents. There we go. All right, so there are the four coins. It seems like people are pretty familiar with them already, which is awesome. Today we're going to practice counting them. You need to make sure you have a pencil or a pen or marker or something and a piece of paper because I'm going to ask you to do counting. And it might be hard to keep track in your head. All right, so I'm asking you now to count the coins. And I actually don't really mean count the coins, right? I know there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins. I don't need to know that. I want to know what's the value, the total value of these coins. ¿Cuál es el valor total de estas monedas? So you might want to write on your paper, you might want to draw a circle and inside the circle write how much it's worth. So what would you draw inside the first circle? What number would you draw? Michael, can you help me? Hey, Michael, buddy, why don't you turn your camera back on and Jaquan, you too, because I can't see you guys anymore. Alex, can you help me? How much is that first coin worth? Yeah. Um, it's 25 cents. Okay, so on your paper, when you're trying to count, you could draw a circle and write 25 in it, or you could just write the number 25. And I want you to add up and count the total of all these coins. If you have the total, write it in the chat box, please. I see, and, and I don't want you to just look at somebody else's answer because we don't know if their answer's right or not. So tr solve yourself first. I saw a lot of people were telling me that was 25, thank you. I see some people saying it's, um, they got a couple different answers right now and that's okay. We're gonna find out which one it is. Okay, I see some that are thinking it's cents. Somebody thinks it's over a dollar. So let's try and figure this out together. I'm gonna to give you just a couple more seconds on your own. 
Okay. So we have 25 cents, 25 cents. What is 25 plus 25 make? Somebody can unmute and tell me. 50. 50. 50. Okay, so we have 50. Did you just put it on the oh, Please don't draw my screen. Please don't draw my screen, my friends, because I don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> You're smarter than me, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Thanks. All right, so first I'm just going to write the total, the value of each coin, okay? We have three that are 25, two that are 10, two that are one. Now we did 25 plus 25. Jonna said it was 50. Now when we add 50 to the next quarter, what do we get? 50 plus 25, what does that make? Somebody can unmute and tell me. 75. 75. So we're at 75. So if your guess was lower than 75, we've already passed it, okay? We're at 75. Now if I add 75 to 10, what do I get? Someone can unmute and tell me. 85, Dom. 85. Thank you. I add another 10, I get? 95. Now I add one more, I get? 96. I love the way people are unmuting and telling me. We can do it together, that's great. And then one more is? All right, so what's the total? If you want to change your answer, change it now. <laughs> I see some people. Mm -hmm. The total is 97 cents. We had a ton of different answers, which is okay. That's why we're practicing, okay? This is a really important skill for you guys to learn because we like to buy things. If you're going to go to the store to buy things, you want to make sure you know how to count your money correctly when you're trying to pay somebody. Um, and you don't want to pay them too much because you want to save the rest of it. So, yep, 97 cents is our total. Great job, guys. All right, I'm going to give you another one. Oops. Okay. There we go. I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes. You can do the addition on your paper. One way I suggest doing it is writing like a long addition sentence. Um, and then underneath you can keep track or you could do like the arrow way. I see that some people in the chat wrote their answers. All right, I should make sure Everybody that I see, I should see doing something on their paper, okay? So I shouldn't see anybody just like taking a nap or playing a video game. We're trying to get real smart and learn how to count the coins, okay? So I want everybody to try it. All right, so now I want anybody who wants to help can unmute at the same time. What's 25 plus 10? 35 plus 5? Forty. Plus one? Forty-one. Forty-one. Awesome. Forty-one. So we actually, all the answers that were in the chat box were correct. Nice job. I'd love to see everybody in the chat box. If your chat does not work on your computer, then you can just do it with your voice, okay? All right, we're moving on. Got another one. I'd love to see every single person's answer, okay? Okay. Missy on the UK, you keep blitzing now. My voice is? Miss Aponte, do I sound like I'm glitching too to you? No, not to me. So who was who was saying I sounded like I they couldn't hear me? Michael, is that you? It's like glitching. Yeah. Sometimes it might be like the internet that you're using at your house. So I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. That's annoying. I know. Can you see the coins, Michael? Yeah. Okay. So, so just use the coins to count the total. Okay. Get your paper out and start counting. This one you could probably even just use your finger for because there's a lot of dimes. Okay. Nate, you can hear me good. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, yeah, Nate, you can use real money, too, to count if you want. That's awesome. Is that what you're doing? I can't hear you, buddy. You're muted. I can't hear you, buddy. 
Yes, that's awesome because then you'll really be ready to go to the store. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can buy something delicious. All right, I've got a lot of people with answers in the 60s. So let's check it out together. How many dimes are there? You can unmute and tell me. Six and 20, 30, Six dimes, 50. and each dime is 10. Each dime was 10, so the total of the dimes is? 60. 60, 60 right? 10, 20, 20 30, 30, 40, 40 50. 50, 60, counting 60. by 10. Great. And then now we, two more. Yes, thank you, Javion. Now we have two more. So what do we get, buddy? 62. 62. 62. So I thought a lot of people had 62. Kiss your brains. If you didn't, go ahead again with your finger on the screen and just count the coins again. Count by tens with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. It just gets a little tricky when we're switching from one kind of coin to the other kind of coin, okay? All right, nice job, guys. I've got another one for us. All right, there we go. There's one dime, three nickels, and a penny. First, I'm going to ask you to just put your answer in the chat, okay? Then we'll count together, Alex. I just want people to have a minute of quiet, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm checking in on my friends. I see a lot of people saying the same answer. So you can unmute and tell me what was the first addition. Ten plus five makes fifteen. 15 plus another 5. Uh, 20. Yeah, 20 plus another 5. 25. Plus 1. 26. Awesome job. 26. Great job, guys. All right, so now if you were to count this by yourself, I saw Lorenzo like. Do you use your fingers, Lorenzo? How do you count money when you count it? Can you explain to us? Because I saw you doing something cool. How do you do it? By counting by ones. You were counting by ones? You were counting by ones. Can you tell me how you did 10? All right, I saw you I saw you counting. I was just wondering if you could explain it to us because I saw you kind of like using your fingers to help you. Were you doing 10 plus five? Is that what you were doing? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes the th you using your fingers can help keep help you keep track. You could even show three fingers for the nickels and count each finger as five and do like five, 10, 15. All right. You guys did a nice job. I'm going to go back to the old learning target. Actually, that's really far away. I'm not going to go all the way back there. The old learning target was counting the value of the coins. We're going to move to our second learning target, which is still counting coins, but we're doing something different with them. So maybe somebody who we haven't heard yet from could read to us. Saponte, could you pick somebody for us? Mm -hmm. um, can I have Abby? So I can make a dollar using coins. Thank you. How about in Spanish? 
Yo puedo hacer un dólar, un dólar usando monedas. Monedas, muy bien. Great. Sounds like magnets. <laughs> you think you think it does. All right, go ahead to the chat. Tell me what you think we're doing. What's our action word for this? Ooh, Emily's put it in English and in Spanish. I really love seeing how many people are in the chat. Nate's in there a lot. Gabby and Emily's, Lorenzo, Juliana, Rainey. Thank you, Michael. Okay, nice job, guys. So what? We are making a dollar. We are going to use the coins. Juliana, you're right. We are going to use the coins. Our main goal is we're making a dollar. And, and in Espanol, vamos a hacer un dólar. We're going to try and make a dollar. This is important. If you're at the store and you're, something costs a dollar and you don't have a dollar bill, you could pay with coins but you have to be able to know which coins to use, okay? So we're making a dollar. Does anybody know how many cents are in one dollar? How many cents would it take? Go ahead and put it in the chat. Emily said four quarters. Emily's four quarters does make a dollar. It does, that's one way to make a dollar. And how many cents is that? 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25, what is that? It was four coins, Michael, but I wanna know how many cents. Okay, good job, Emily's. Okay. Good job, Gabby. So $1 actually equals, this is really important, you might wanna write this down in your notes, $1, is equal to 100 cents, okay? So if you don't have a dollar bill and you want, you need a dollar, you can use 100 cents. They're the same value, okay? They have an equal value, 100 cents. So four quarters makes 100 cents. So that being said, how can we make a dollar using coins? My friend Emily's told us we could use four quarters. Let's count these. Who can count the four quarters for me? I don't want you to count one, two, three, four. I want you to count 25 plus 25 makes blank and then keep going. Who would like to do that for us? Put your hand up if you'd like to. Love to hear somebody counting for us. Juliana, was that your hand up, honey? Juliana, can you help me? Or Jana, do you want to? I will. Okay, go ahead, Juliana. Jana, you can do the next. 25. Yep. 45. Hang on one second. When you add 25 plus 25, Oh, yeah, yeah. What'll happen? 50. Yup. 80. 50 plus 25. Try that. 25. Try that. So we can do it the way that Juliana is doing it, which is perfect. She can count and say, okay, 25, 50, 75, and then we got to figure out what the last one would be if we added 75 to 25. 100? It would be 100. And the way I did it was I broke it up like this. 25 plus 25 made 50. 25 plus 25 made 50. Brianni, my friend, can you ask your cousin to finish your hair later, okay, after our math lesson? And Amanda, can you come a little closer to join us, please, too? I know it's sort of hard to pay attention on the computer, my friends, but we're going to do our best, okay? We're still going to be respectful for this time where we get together, because we don't get a lot of time together. Oh, Ralphie's here. Hi, Ralphie. I didn't see you. 
All right, so this does make a dollar. Emily's is right. Can anybody count all these coins for me, please, and put the total in the chat? See a lot of friends going to count. Emily's check one more time, okay? Count it, count it again. <clears throat> so Juliana, Emily's, Lorenis, Ralphie, Raul, Alex, all of my friends answered. Awesome. I like hearing from everybody. So 100 what? I see a lot of people saying 100. 100 what? $100, 100 cents, 100 coins. Ooh, I love the way Lorenzo wrote that. Lorenzo wrote it with a dollar bill sign and the period after the one for $1. It's either $1, it is a dollar, or we could call it 100 cents, okay? $1 or 100 cents. There's the cents symbol. Everybody see it at the bottom? Can I see everybody's eyes for a second so you can see my cents symbol? Michael, can you take a look too? This is what the cents symbol looks like, okay? So this is a dollar or a 100 cents. All right. All right, I've got another I've got another set of coins. Go ahead and count them all and put your total number in the chat. And you gotta put a label. Is it cents or dollars? What are you saying? All right, my friends, I see people get into the chat. I see some different answers. So that means we can't have more than one right answer, which means that make sure you go back and check your work. So even if you've counted it, count again. All right, so should we count a little bit together? Yes. All right, so we have two quarters. What is the total of two quarters together? 25 plus 25, what does that make? 50. 50. Then we have 10 more, which makes? 60. 60. 10 more makes? 70. 70. 10 more makes? 80. 80. 80. 10 more makes? 90. 90. Five more makes? 95. 95. We had 90 and that plus five. Now one more makes 96. 90. So then what's our total? I heard some people saying that once they realized it. It's what 100 you? and Brianna, Brianna put, um, not Brianna, sorry, Gabby put the right label, 100 cents. So you can either say it's 100 cents or it's $1. The way that Lorenzo wrote it before too, 100 cents or $1. There are lots of ways to make a dollar using coins. You don't have to make it the same ways I showed you today. So now I have a challenge for you guys. 
where we're going to work for a few minutes and me and Miss Aponte are actually just going to hang out and, and watch you. Maybe we'll just take a break. And you guys are going to be working on this. What's another way you can make $1? So your answer is going to have to tell me, you know, I use two quarters and one dime and 10 pennies and that made a dollar. So I want you to work on your paper right now. You need a paper and a pencil or like Nate, Nate has real coins. You can use real coins too. And you're going to try and make $1. And then at the end, I want you to text in the chat box how you did it. What did you use? Two quarters, three dimes, one nickel. Okay, that's what I want to know. So I want to see everybody getting busy. Joanne, love it. She's getting busy on her paper. Amanda and Nate have their coins they're using. You can draw a circle on your paper and draw like 25. And then you know that's not right because it's not a dollar yet. So you got to keep going. Maybe I'm gonna get a drink. Maybe I'll take a nap while you guys are working. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna take a nap. If you have a question, you can um, unmute and ask your question or you can type your question in the chat box. And if you already come up with one way to do it, I'd love to see another way. John Addis came up with a way immediately and so did Alexandria, 10 dimes. I love that, it absolutely will work. Great, find another way now, okay? Find a, find a trickier way. Breakfast, 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 breakfast bar, okay, I love the answer four quarters and I love the answer ten dimes. Now I want you to try and find a trickier way, okay? Try and find a way where you use more than one kind of coin. Maybe you're gonna use only three quarters and then something else to get all the way to 100, okay? So if you don't know where to start, maybe start with three quarters and then pick something else to help you get all the way to 100. I'm seeing some ideas. So Lorraine, you can start with two quarters, that's great. And then you got to keep going till you get to 100 cents. Uh huh. I have some friends saying 100 pennies. Yes, you can make a dollar with 100 pennies. If you were going to the store to pay for like some slime that was $1. What do you think would be the easiest thing to bring? 100 pennies, or would it be easier to bring quarters? What would be the easiest thing to bring to pay? Just bills, bills. <laughs> Just a $1 bill would probably be the easiest. <laughs> what if you didn't have any bills and you had to bring coins? What would be the easiest coins to bring? Four coins. 100 pennies. <laughs> Four Alexander, quarters. you're saying 100 pennies. Why are you saying that? Four quarters. Because, um, like, if you, like, like if you have a hundred pennies, then like because two a penny quarters, is nine, then like you did like four dimes, four times ten dimes. So Alexandria is saying you could bring one hundred pennies, and she's right. But Alex, would that be really easy to bring, or because I'm picturing one hundred pennies in a big old bag, and I'm picturing it uh, being heavy. <laughs> can I have? Um, have someone try it. Sometimes. Sometimes. I Hang on, Alex. The same thing in the book fair. I, I got a pennies. Okay, friends. Hang on a second. I want to mute so I can hear the people that are talking. So I'm going to mute you unless you're the person talking. Um, Lorraine, go ahead. What do you want to say? Two quarters, four dimes, two nickels. I got to write this down because I don't know. I don't know if it's right which is great. So we're going to check it out together. You said two quarters and then what? What else did you say, darling? Two quarters, four dimes, two nickels. Yeah. Okay. So she's going to get two quarters. So that's 25 plus 25 is 50. And then you're going to add four dimes, 50. 
60, 70, 80, 90, and then you're going to add two fives, 95, 100. Whoa, yes. That got me to 100. And Nate said three quarters, so that would be 25, 50, 75. Two dimes would be 85, 95, plus one nickel would be 100. Nate found another way to make a dollar. Can someone tell me how many nickels would make a dollar? Ooh, I like that challenge. I saw a lot of people writing quarters and dimes and pennies. You're right. I want to see if people know their nickels. Nate, if you want to answer out loud, you can unmute yourself, buddy. Did you want to tell us the coins you used that you typed in the chat box? Because those that one we checked and it's correct. Do you want to tell us about it? What you used? Go ahead. I used two dimes. Two dimes in wait a nickel in in three twenty twenty nickels three three of the ones that are twenty five what are those ones called three quarters three quarters great. So when we count our money, it's easiest to count from the coin that has the most value first. So when I checked Nate's answer, I counted his quarters first. Then what should I count? The nickels or dimes? Which one's worth more? Mm -mm. Oh, um, quarters. Quarters first, yep. And then what one comes next? Uh, dime. Then I count the dimes, then I count the nickel. Yes, and if he had any pennies, pennies would be last, but he did not use pennies for his because he already got to 100. I have some different people giving different answers about how many nickels it would take. If you haven't tried it yet, please try it because each nickel is five cents. So how many nickels do we need to get to 100? You might want to try a repeated addition sentence on your paper to help you. You could start drawing circles with a five in it and count until we get to 100. Jana said she tried 15, but it wasn't 15. That didn't work. Okay, so keep going, Jana. Jana, I'm gonna give you a hint. Your 19 is close, but so close. Brianni, check that. Did you draw 14 nickels? If you did, I want you to start counting by fives. <laughs> I'm actually going to pull up another screen to show you guys. Hang on a second. Because I was actually working on this problem that Miss Aponte just gave us. I was working on it without you guys. Um, and you'll see it in a different presentation of mine. Okay, so here's my other presentation. All right, so we already know how many quarters make a dollar. How many quarters in a dollar, everybody? Show me with your fingers. Show me with your fingers on your video. How many quarters are in one dollar? That's too many, Alex. Thank you, Nate. 25, 50, 75, one dollar. JVM, my friend, can we have your focus and attention here? How many quarters make a dollar? Thank you, Juliana. Four quarters in a dollar. Can everybody unmute for a second? We're going to count the quarters together. It's something that we want to memorize. You want to memorize how to count four quarters, okay? It's something that will be helpful to you all the time with money because you don't want to try and be adding 25 and 25 in your head every time you're counting quarters. So ready? 25. They would 25. 25. 50. 75. 75. $1. $1. We're going to start again. You can hold your finger up to the screen like you're touching the quarter. Touching the first one. Ready? 25. 25. 50. 50. 75. 
75. $1. One dollar. Okay, thank you. Repeat yourself again. That's something you want to memorize. It'll help you a lot when you're counting money. 25, 50, 75 a dollar. You can go to bed saying it. 25, 50. Maybe John and Reese can make us a TikTok dance about it. 25, 50, 75 a dollar. I like Javion's got dancing moves already too. All right. Now what about nickels? Did anybody figure out how many nickels it takes to make a dollar? What are some of our answers, Miss Aponte? Some of our answers were 20, 20. You guys think that right? Let's check it out. Okay. Okay. What do we have to count by when we're counting nickels? Each nickel is worth? Five. Seven, five. five. All right, five, so five. put your finger like up to the screen and we're going to count by fives together. We're going to count all the nickels on the screen. Ready? I should see fingers coming up to the screen a little bit so you can count with me. Ready? Five. Five. 10. 10. 15. 15. 20. 20. 50. 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So how many nickels? 100. The value is 100, but how many nickels did it take to make 100? It did make 20. So my friends that had 20, correct. If you didn't have 20, that's okay. That's why we're practicing. You can practice drawing. You can ask your parents when you're done today if you can borrow some coins or go find coins of your own to practice on your own. If you guys want to send me pictures of how different ways you made a dollar, that would make my day so happy. Because I'm stuck on the couch with my sad, sad ankle. So you want to send me pictures of you making one dollar out of coins? It would make my day. All right. Whoa. How many pennies made a dollar? How many? One hundred. One hundred. This page took me a long time to make. I had to copy the penny so many times. And then the last one was dimes. How many dimes make a dollar? Oh my yeah. Remember? Yeah. Each dime is 10, so how many tens do we need to make 100? 10! 10! It's 10. 10 dimes make a dollar. Exactly. Okay. My friends, you guys did a nice job today. I'm so sorry you couldn't see my video. So we're actually going to end our day a little early since you can't see me. Does anybody have any questions before we leave today that they want? to add. Uh, yeah.